can chop my f***ing ear off, man. Just take the whole box, man. Just take the whole thing. Well, all new at six, a first look at surveillance video of a brutal attack at an Ionia County convenience store. It happened on Halloween. The victim, a 56 year old man, was left with serious injuries after he was sliced with a katana blade, a sword. Our Michael Martin live in studio this evening after going through that footage. Michael. Janice, Doug, this was a unique case from the get go. A man dressed up as a ninja, apparently for Halloween, attacking a convenience store clerk with a very real sword. But after hearing what the suspect said as it all played out, we're left with more questions than answers as to why this all happened in the first place. October 31st, 2021. Police say this is 36-year-old Jonathan Roten, dressed up as a ninja for Halloween and carrying a real katana sword, trying to tie shut the front doors of the Moore Perks convenience store on Lincoln Avenue. 56-year-old clerk Ted Rux Jr. approaches when Roten raises his blade and stabs at him. They tussle into the store, Rux's ear sliced almost entirely off by the blade. At this point, the surveillance video's audio kicks in. Rux tries to give him the cash in his drawer, but Roten's mind is seemingly somewhere else entirely. My family's over. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you talking about, man? What you talking about? As Roten begins to take some of the money in front of him, his emotions apparently flip in an instant. I'm sorry. They didn't listen to me. I'm sorry, too, man. I don't know what, what, what happened. That's all I'm going to take. You can have the rest. Roten tells the clerk to keep some of the cash himself and even offers him his katana. I'm so sorry. Take the rest of the money, man. Uh, you want the sword? Obviously uninterested in his offerings, Rux is eventually able to shoo the man out of the store. Just go. Where do I go? Out. Out the door. Fox 17 spoke to the owner of Moore Perks on Thursday. He says Ted Rux Jr. is recovering well, saying he received incredible treatment from several plastic surgeons immediately following the attack. Now, Jonathan Roden is facing numerous felonies related to this incident. He was also arrested prior to the attack on October 20th for resisting or obstructing a police officer. He's expected to be back in court on all of those charges in April. For now, though, live in the studio, Michael Martin, Fox 17 News.